Alrighty, what is up guys? It is Bazza here today, back with another video. Today guys, we are finally going over a gaming setup tour. It has been such a long time since I've done one of these videos. So many of you guys have actually asked me to do this and today I'm finally doing it. I kept like going to be upgrading stuff and then I waited until that got happened or until I did that and then finally now we're doing it. So basically, it's just been a whole lot of me waiting until I get stuff until I can actually do it. But right behind me, guys, uh, we have everything. And now we're going to be doing that today. And I'm sorry if I'm not the best at using this camera. All right, look, I'm not a vlogger, guys. I'm not a vlogger, okay? But today we're going to be going over all this behind me and we're going to be doing my very... I'm going to be doing my very best at going over absolutely everything. Uh, yeah, so let's get straight into it, guys. Okay, guys, quickly, just before you do get into the video, I need to say two very important things about this video. Number one is if you guys are looking to make videos, start making videos, or be a content creator, you do not need any of the equipment or items that I show in this video. They are not required. You don't need them to start off. I started off with nothing, and eventually you will get this stuff and improve your content, but it is not required required by any means. Secondly, I bought all of this stuff from my own money out of my YouTube revenue uh, or my job or, you know, just Christmas and birthdays here and there. But everything was bought from me, not from my parents or anything like that. That's all I wanted to say. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and bye-bye. As you can see right here, guys, from when I walk in, we got a Call of Duty Ghost poster on the wall here from, uh, well, Call of Duty Ghost. Pretty obvious there, back when I used to play Call of Duty. Pretty good poster. Game's not too bad, uh, but yeah, so moving on around to you guys, as you can see, straight off the bat, we have an L-shaped desk here, which I absolutely love. It's a fantastic desk. I guess we'll start with the desk, because uh, this is actually, you know, made personally by me uh, and my dad. We made this together. It's a really good desk. We got an old door, and we basically made this thing from scratch. So, like, this has got some, I guess, not history, but, you know, it's it's a pretty sentimental desk. You know, it's it's a... It's not just something you can buy, basically. And yeah, I really like it. It's got like that rustic wooden look, as you can see, all across the desk. You know, it's not just a modern sort of plastic type thing. Like, this is a, this, this is a good desk, okay? Nothing is going to be... Uh, it's a strong... It's a good desk is really what I'm trying to get at. If you like the rustic look, then you'll like this desk. So yeah, personally, I absolutely love it. But starting over here, guys, we have the monitor that I use for my PlayStation 4, just over there. And then uh, we have my controller down here, which is just a DualShock 4, a standard PS4 controller, uh, but different to all the other controllers. As you can see here, um, we have, if it wants to focus, um, yeah, it's just a standard PS4 controller here, but we do have some control freaks, which are the little thumbstick uh, extenders there, which do help uh, for in-game and everything like that. So yeah, basic controller. Uh, over here, guys, on top of the monitor, we have our streaming webcam which I do use for streaming, obviously, and I used to use it for videos, not anymore now because, um, well, I've got the camera that I'm using right now to record this video, so that's pretty cool. Over here, guys, we have the Astro A40s, literally the best headset ever, guys. I love it so, so much. I've been through so many headsets, and it's the best one I've ever had. It is quite expensive, but look, I actually really really like it it's very good and it does come with its own mix amp over here which is super helpful for streaming so if you're into streaming guys i'd really recommend getting a headset with a mix amp um astro 40s is a really good one but uh when it comes to the monitor guys for my ps4 it's just a standard lg it's a 24 inch i believe um 60 hertz actually no it's 75 hertz one millisecond response time that's really all you need for console now going back around here Something that I did miss, we got the Elgato, that is what I use to record all my videos, like literally guys, all my videos, streams, everything like that, and it's just sitting on a Razer mouse pad here, pretty basic, nothing I missed back there, PlayStation 4, and I do have a Razer mic on top of that, not a Razer mic, what am I saying, Astro mic, that we do have on top of that, so moving back over here guys, to the main setup, okay, this is where all the work gets done, this is where all the streams are made, done, streamed, okay, this is where everything happens, so here we have the main setup. So I guess we'll start here. The speakers, we got some Logitech um, THX certified. They're really, really good. Absolutely love them. They're freaking loud, bro, okay? Like they've, they, they've gone, and they, they pack some punch, all right? They're loud. Um, so here we have the productivity monitor and like the sort of gaming monitor that I use when I do play on PC here. And yeah, it's an Acer monitor. It is one milliseconds response time. This one is 240 hertz. This one over there is uh, 144 hertz. So yeah, 
Definitely, if you guys are into gaming on PC, high refresh rate monitors make all the difference. Like, I didn't think it'd be that good until I actually used one. Uh, but yeah, really big difference for the refresh rate on monitors. Here we have the Stream Deck, which I've just got RGB keys on it right now because I haven't really been streaming that much. But yeah, streaming is uh, definitely something that can be uh, made a lot easier when you use this Stream Deck here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything on this side here. Uh, once again, the other monitor here is 144Hz Acer, 27 inches are both of these here. So they're pretty much identical monitors. And at the back here, um, if you can see, it's a little bit... No, no we're not, it's actually not too dark there. I thought my, uh, it'd be a bit dark, but no, we're good. Back here we have the mic arm, not the mic arm, the monitor arm, the dual monitor arm that holds both of these. And then we got some cables. Cable management's not too bad. It's really not too bad at all. And then we have a USB 3.0 hub, which has seven additional USBs, which is really helpful when you're a content creator and you need lots of USBs. It really helps to have... A USB hub that's like the best thing I've ever bought and uh, over here guys we have our Razer Black Widow um, V1 this is the first edition of Black Widow RGB mechanical green switches keyboard very very nice absolutely love it I've had it for a few years now actually like three years two three years really good keyboard um, yeah so we got the Razer mouse pad as well it's the extended one super long so I can fit my keyboard and my mouse, which is really, really helpful. So that's cool. Moving on here, guys, we have phone getting charged right now, pretty basic. And then we have my other speaker uh, for that side there. Uh, that's pretty much everything here, guys, on the desk. Moving on, we got posters here, pretty standard, guys. Now to the, uh, I guess the little showroom, the little, the little shelf of amazing pieces. So I guess we'll start, guys, with the absolute beast itself my gaming PC, which you can see the reflection in the background there because it's got that, uh, it's actually not tempered glass, so it's tempered plastic, but it basically gives the same effect as tempered glass. But yeah, inside of here, guys, we've got a uh, 32 gigs of RAM, which you can see right there. We have uh, i7 8700K, GDX 1080 there. Um, what else is there? We've got a SSD, three terabytes of storage. That, that's everything I can remember off the top of my head there. We got a Cooler Master heat sink. Very, very beasty PC. In fact, I actually built this like over a year ago now. So I think it's I think it's over a year old. I honestly cannot remember. Actually, not not quite a year. Almost a year. But yeah, very, very good PC. Renders fast. Everything it can do everything I throw at it, which is great. So moving along, guys, on the shelf here we have my MSI graphics card box, which is uh, obviously for what's in there. We have caps okay you guys always see me wearing these on my stream i live in them we got rubik's cubes pretty nice phase 2.0 logo not bad we got little mr black knight over here which i got for christmas from my mum. shout out to my mum. there we go nice little black knight speed caller from call of duty black ops 3 zombies i actually had all the other ones but they were on the edge of my shelf here and when i was playing music out of this giant sawoofer down here, it actually vibrated the bottles off the edge and they fell plunk in that corner there and it was a big rip in the chat. Alright, under here guys, we've got the Taipan D-Link modem, which is a beast of a modem. It's like, you know, gaming and everything, all that. This is an expensive modem, but it is a beast if you're into streaming and all that. It does help out a lot with all the features it has. Under here, we have the RGB desk lights, which you can see are clearly changing color. And if we go under here, we have them all aligned under here. Pretty, pretty cool. And it, yeah, that RGB lights, very, very nice there. Looking beautiful. Oh, guys, I forgot to talk. I almost forgot about the best thing in this gaming setup. I love it so, so much. I love Logitech products so, so much, okay? And I, I need more, okay? Razer keyboard. Next keyboard's been Logitech, dude. They're a lot better. Um, this Logitech mouse, guys, the G502, okay? This is literally the best mouse I've ever had. I've had about three mouses. This is the best gaming mouse I've ever had, okay? If you guys are PC gamer, consider this. It's amazing mouse. It is fantastic, okay? Scroll wheel, very, very, very nice, okay? It's got like five or six buttons on the side here, as you can see. RGB, of course, you know, always need that RGB-ness. Uh, and we got the mouse. It's, it's a great mouse. You can put weights in it. I love it. Okay, fantastic. It's only like 80 bucks uh, Australian as well. Pretty cheap. Okay, <laughs> moving on guys. 
back to the shelf. We got a little sidetracked there, but we're good. PS4 games, um, not really gonna go through all those. I got all the Call of Duties on next gen. I've got all my PS3 games somewhere else, but we're not gonna be talking about that today. Ghosts, uh, AW, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, um, Black, yeah, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, World War 2, Infinite Warfare, and, uh, oh, here's my PS3 games here, actually. Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2, and I have Black Ops 2 in my, um, PS3 right now. Uh, over here, guys, we got a Call of Duty Pop Vinyl, um, which is from, uh, what, what card was it? Infinite Warfare, that's the one. Infinite Warfare, pretty cool there. Recently for Christmas, we got a tub of Skittles, not bad. Here we have a camera lens, which is actually the one that I'm using for this video right now, if it wants to focus. There we go, perfect. Not bad at all. Moving up guys, to the top here, we'll start with on top of this little unit here. We have the Video Mic Go, which is for my camera, which I'm using now. We have the Blue Yeti microphone, which I almost forgot to talk about. Blue Yeti is a great microphone, which is right here. I've had this thing for like four years and it's still chugging on, bro. Absolutely great mic. Really have got my money's worth for that. Shout out to Yeti for the great mic. Here you have the Canon EOS M50, which is what I'm recording with right now. Very good camera. The GorillaPod 3K, which is a tripod I'm using right now. Uh, Rode PS, uh, PSA 1. Um, mic arm right here, which is obviously being used for the Blue Yeti. Pretty cool. Up here, guys, we have all my PC parts, headset and all that. We got the uh, heatsink for my PC. We got the Astro Box. We got RGB fans, keyboard, RAM. We do have the G502 mouse, i7-8700K box, RAM, Elgato, all that stuff. Boxes. I love keeping boxes. Here we have, guys, the absolutely amazing Mystery box, a uh, mystery box from the Black Ops 3 Collector's Edition, which when you open up, if I can, oh, I can't activate it from here. You have to take off both sides. I can't really do that, but it, it makes a lot of cool noises and stuff. Why don't you take it off? There we go. Uh, that is pretty cool. So yeah, that is basically everything, guys. That is literally everything in the entire setup. Uh, I guess we got a charger over there for the batteries for this camera and just a power block which is not being used. And we also got a TV port there, which I'm probably not gonna use. Uh, that's pretty much it under here, guys. We have some posters from Call of Duty Black Ops 4. They're actually lithograms. They're very, very cool posters. If you see them IRL, they've got like the textures, they're bumpy and all that. They're really, really cool. Great posters there. Uh, last thing I guess I haven't mentioned is the gaming chair. So yeah, this is a DS, uh, DX Racer ripoff. It's called the Thunder 3. Yeah, it's just like a cheaper DX Racer, 250 bucks. It's very good. Look at that wear and tear though, boys. All right, that's what happens when you sit in the chair for eight to 10 hours every single day and sweat on Fortnite, okay? That, that's, that's what happens. Um, yeah, that's basically it, guys. I hope I included everything. I always forget something after doing one of these videos, but it has been so long since I did make a gaming setup video, so that is basically it, guys. I'm pretty sure I haven't forgotten anything else. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Yeah, guys, if you ever want to see another one of these videos, let me know down below. I'll try to update you guys um, within a year or two. I can't even remember when the last time I did one of these videos was. It was super long ago, but today, guys, we finally updated the gaming setup tour. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out, everybody, and bye-bye.